All right, coming up next here on the Matthew Filipovich Show, we are joined by Glenn Stafford. Glenn is the spokesperson for Senator Rand Paul. Glenn, thank you so much for being on the show. Well, thank you, Matthew, for having me on here, but I have to say I'm not doing very good. Nope, not very good at all. Oh, okay. Well, well, what's wrong? Well, I'm sure you heard of the Borowitz Report article on Rand Paul calling for the impeachment of President Obama for allowing Beyonce to lip-sync the Star Spangled Banner. Um, yes, actually, I did read that, that article. It was very, very funny and insightful. Funny? Insightful? That article wasn't fair. What do you mean it wasn't fair? I mean, because Rand Paul didn't really say that. I mean, we all know that. I mean, it, was, it was, wasn't was was supposed to be taken seriously. It was a joke. No, it's not fair because Senator Paul was about to make that very statement before the Borowitz report broke the news. And we wanted to do it in our own way. But Borowitz made it look like a fool. Hold on. So Rand Paul actually wanted to call for Barack Obama's impeachment over this whole Beyonce silliness? Yes, but he made it sound so petty. I mean, we think that Obama has always been a fraud, and this just proves our point that he is. I mean, how can the Republicans be taken seriously if these newspapers and websites are making up stories that are actually true? Uh, I'm sorry, but what? Well, you see, look, I mean, Fox News and the Drudge Report, you know, and other bastions of the truth, well, they can't do their jobs, and people over at The Onion and The Borowitz Reporter are going to break news that we didn't get to manufacture first. It's not fair. A uh- you are aware that, that those websites, The Onion and The Boritz Report, you are aware that those are satirical, right? Well, they're satirical pieces, whatever that is. Our blatant lies that happen to be really true. Um, well, okay, well maybe if you on the right stopped acting so crazy, then people might not confuse these stories for being true, even if, as you say, they are true, uh, I guess. I know, it's confusing, right? I mean, even just yesterday, Ann Coulter was going to make a statement on Fox that black women should have to go through more rigorous training to fly a plane because, you know, they get so easily offended. And then the Daily Koran breaks a story that Ann was refusing to fly on a plane with a black woman pilot. But but she was just about to talk about this on Fox. That She wasn't on a plane. That made her look way worse than if she just would have talked about it on Fox. All right, all right. so you're saying you don't like the specific way she was portrayed as a racist and that she actually had a different version of racism that she wanted to present on Fox? Yeah, exactly. Wait, no. I mean, it was a different version, but she's not a racist. No, no, you're the racist for saying that she's a racist. All right, we're going to go now. Oh, great. The liberal media is shutting down the truth as usual. Probably going to make up a bunch of lies about the right when I leave. Like, we want to secede from the union, or we want to arrest doctors who give abortions to rape victims, or, or even worse, that we want to pass laws that allow us to shoot cops on our own property. But but you and the right actually believe all of that. We do? Well, I thought those were satirical pieces on the onion. Rand Paul's spokesperson, Glenn Stafford, everybody. We'll be right back. Impeach Beyonce!